ladies and gentlemen, you know, I can actually remember back several years when they were talking about the great American eclipse several years back. And then the 2017 eclipse happened and they were really gearing up for 2024. You know, seven years from now, we'll have another eclipse that will go across America. And back in 2023, that's when I started seeing articles come out talking about folks booking hotel rooms a year in advance just so they could be in the path of the eclipse. Well, I don't know how wise that is because they're talking about severe storms that could be in the path of the totality. You know, last week, and I spoke about this when I was talking about the eclipse, they were saying it is highly rare for a storm to follow the eclipse, but it is possible that it may actually happen. It is a loud thunderstorm out here where I am. I don't know if y'all can hear it. So anyway, they're saying that during totality, which will be 100 miles wide from Texas to Maine, passing over cities. And they're saying that parts of Dallas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Louisiana are at increased risk of damaging thunderstorms on Monday, especially during the evening hours. Now, they're not saying if there's going to be anything occurring during the time of the eclipse, but they're saying it's possible. So there's also um, hail, rain, and possible tornadoes in that path running across those states. Severe thunderstorms typically run um, in the afternoon. So they said, there, you know, a lot of times in the southern U.S., when they have these type of storms, it's usually in the afternoon after daytime heat reaches its peak. And it's, you know, it's going to start out as a cloud-free day. But, you know, things are going to develop into a violent storm. Now, they're not sure if the storm will hold off until after the eclipse or during the eclipse. And they're saying they'll have more of a good idea over this weekend. So right now, if the rain could hold off between 1.30 and 2 o'clock central time, then chances are you may get a good view of the eclipse as long as it's not overcast. So they are concerned about the traffic that will come after the eclipse is over because people that travel will more than likely try to get out by Monday evening and go back home. So I know Texas is one of those states where they are very concerned about the traffic as well as um, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana. And during the 2017 eclipse, they said 20 million people traveled to be in the path of the 2017 total eclipse. And they're saying that there are millions more this time around. And the path of totality will be 40 to 50 miles wider than the one that occurred in 2017. So they said it's still too early to know where the clouds will develop on Monday. And, you know, like I said, they'll have a better idea over the weekend what Monday's forecast will be. So they're saying they are also um, expecting moist air that will come from the Gulf of Mexico north into parts of Tennessee and Ohio Valley. This could potentially lead to an increase in cloud cover in both regions and will obstruct totality views. Meanwhile, high pressure and uh, largely cloud-free skies 
will occur in the Northeast. In fact, they are saying that ultimately the Northeast may be the best viewing conditions for totality. So those of you that are in the Northeast, they're saying look like the skies will be clear. Well, that's definitely good to know. So in an interesting twist, the current forecast is almost the complete opposite. They said, you know, usually historically, they went back and looked at weather forecast over the past few years of what April 8th looked like. And in the South and in the Southern Plains, April 8th in past years, they said was a clear day, but it doesn't appear to be that way this year. So we shall see what happens. I really hope everybody gets a good view of the eclipse. You know, it's not going to come around. I think the next time they said it comes around is 2044, you know, so you're talking about 20 years before you can see this again. So I hope you don't have to wait 20 years. I really hope you will get to see as well as myself and other people will see this in the country. I did see that um, schools, some schools will be closed and some schools will be letting students out early, having an early dismissal that day so that the children can be outside watching, you know, the eclipse. So, you know, I'm, I'm expecting them to do that in my state. I know some of the schools are closed and some are just going to have an early dismissal. And at first it was just a few states, but it appears to be a lot more across the country that will be doing that. So y'all, if you have poor visibility, um, you're more than welcome to watch the um, eclipse. I will be live streaming it on my channel. And if you can't see it, just come and join us. I'm going to have my live stream up and running during the entire time the eclipse is going on from start to finish. So I hope you can join me if you don't have any other option. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.